You asked for it, so you got it. Recently, we took the three big boy diesel dualies, fully loaded up the Ike Gauntlet to see which one is literally the king of the mountain. In this video, you get to see the raw and unedited footage as the boys took the big boys up to the top of the Eisenhower Tunnel. Yes. Dude. <laughs> My cameras are synced. What? <laughs> are you synced? Yes, we are synced. Got ready to turn up and run the Ike the hard way upstairs. Yes. 11,000 feet. Over 11,000 feet, eight mile run, 7% grade. We've got 30,000 pounds behind us. And we've got a big straight six Cummins in front of us. And a six speed ice and transmission. And we're rolling. We're going to get to what, 30 miles an hour on this yeah. on ramp? Or 35. On, 35. All right. So you're going to, when we cross our starting line, you reset yes. the trip meter. Yes. And I'm going to run the timer. Are we going to use adaptive cruise control on the way up? No, we never uh, do. Well, we never go do it use it going downhill either. But. You good? Okay. Hammer down. Nice. We're all reset. The timer is ticking. Let's see how this uh, big updated Cummins does. That's right. This one's got all that extra cooling. Yes. A little bit better frame. So they redesigned this engine in 2019, right? Yes. So it's still the same displacement, 6.7 liters. So you might be thinking to yourself, oh, is this the Cummins from before? Well, no. They changed the block, they changed the turbo. 400 horsepower now. Right. And 1,000 pound feet of torque. And is this one they took the extra weight out of from the hangers and all that stuff on the exhaust? They did some things. A like little bit of weight it out, a yes. A little bit lighter. So are you hammered down completely? I am. Okay. I have a wide open throttle. A hundred percent throttle. We're in the slow lane. No, this is the fast lane truck. But that's over there. We got to go that way. <laughs> this is the, this is the trucker lane, man. Please, please, is... please go as fast as possible. Okay, I, I, the fifth feet is in the floor. Can I push it to the frame? <laughs> Where exactly is you want me to put this throttle? Because it's as low as it goes. Wide open throttle. You know how I'm never happy? That's true, I've noticed that. Uh, but I am happier today than ever. Really? You know why? Why? Well, because the conditions are very close today than what they were with the other dually trucks. Okay, yeah, they are. There was snow a little more in the other one. Yeah, a little bit more moisture in the other ones. Yeah. Uh, but now it's kind of dry pavement, it just snowed. So we're still doing it in the middle of winter. Yeah, we're not so, at all, we're doing good. Yeah, we have good traction, good weight, everything is great. I'm much happier now. Yeah, this truck is sitting very level. It's got the air ride suspension in the back, like a helper spring with the shocks. So there's, there's a little chain beating up roads out here, so we're a little rough. But uh, you know, it's a pretty solid truck. So how's the ride compared to the Ford and the GM? I would say it's very close to the Ford. Okay. The Ford might be a hair bit better, but it was way better than what the Silverado was doing. It was just bucking a lot, and I don't know why. Okay. They didn't used to be that way. That always was their pride and joy was how good the heavy duties rode, but something's a little different there. But no, this one's doing very well. I mean, we got 30,000 pounds. We got 16 ply tires. Are you okay? I think what I am. What happened? Well, it looks like a downshifted or upshifted. I couldn't really tell right there. But your foot is still it. in it? Yeah, I haven't touched anything different. So on the way up here, um, the Ford F-350 so far has been the quickest truck. Yeah. Um, that made this eight mile run in 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Right. But now we're slowing down a hair, right? Yeah, we're 2,500 RPM and it looks like the speed is about 42 miles an hour. I'm wide okay. open. So throttle. we're still, I mean, we're still comfortable, but but I would like to be a little bit quicker. Right, you thought the Ford was averaging 47 miles an hour? Well, that's what I saw as the top speed okay, on the Ford, if speed. I remember. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going 43. See what it does. Yes. Ooh. It's, it's actually. Shift, it's it's now, shifting a little bit. Yeah, and it's it's weird. It's, it's when it, each time it does that, it looks like it, it uh, loses a little power. All right, you focus on the road. Let me let me see if I can see the transmission temps, just really quick, okay? Okay. So trailer brake. No, we don't want that. We don't want the music. I always worry about Andre sticking his hand in my steering wheel. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I, I am. Okay. We're getting up to... You're fine. 20, All right. 2400 RPM. All right, so oil temp, 217. Trans temp, 170. Actually, the transmission is relatively cool. Well, of course, it's 
It's February well, it's, well, it's from February. the snow in uh, the Rockies. Uh, cool and temp, 213. So all the temperatures are within limits and well within limits. Well, if it wasn't, we'd be in trouble because this is not anywhere near the heat. I mean, but this, this truck is working maximum. It's 22 degrees outside. Yeah, it this is. This truck is really working maximum. That's true. But they're, you know, they're designed to work maximum even in hot temperatures. Yes, they are. So this one, this is doing what it's designed to do. Oh, we're getting some moisture now. Yeah, and we're acting, you know, this is, uh, they, they follow the 2807, the Society of Automotive Engineers rules. Oh, right. So this truck has passed all that. And then what is the maximum until we're towing 30,000? What's the max on this? You will never believe it. What is it? This particular truck, still crew cab, Laramie, four wheel drive, just a hair over 34,000. Wow, that's, so that's incredible. The other two trucks, you know, the F350 yes. and four wheel drive crew and the GMC four wheel drive crew cab dually, right. those were around 31,000. This has three extra thousand pounds of capacity. Yeah, that's pretty good for a loaded truck because everybody you know loses a little bit of capacity because yeah. you have yeah. all that weight to it. So that's very good. That's an interesting number. And also, this is the most expensive of the three. Eighty-five thousand bucks. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so the Ford was about eighty-two thousand. Um, the GMC Denali, that was a Denali truck. Right. Uh, it's it's about is about what eighty-one thousand. Yeah. So all of these trucks are in the eighties. And this is a Laramie. There's a couple more above this, I right? I know. Longhorn <laughs> and Limited. Yeah. And we don't have a sunroof. I know. So we, we could make this thing heavier. And more expensive. That's true. And a lot of um, the viewers, you guys, uh, tell us that we why do you guys test expensive trucks? Well, we also test uh, inexpensive trucks. Yeah, when we can get them. That's yeah. just not, it's not easy to get the commercial trucks. Plus, we like luxurious trucks. We like well, all the comforts, the heated steering wheel and seat, adaptive cruise control. Well, right now, a heated steering wheel is probably nice. Well, it is. Yeah. For a while, it was getting too hot, but now we can go in and out with the cold. And, man, I'm warming up with my hands, that's for sure. All right, yeah, so we're clear we're, down to 37 miles an hour. Well, it's a steep grade, dude, and it's long. Eight mile stretch yeah, of I-70. 20, 20, Almost 20. The oil temp is going up a hair. Yeah. Um, how's your boost? How's your little boost gauge doing? The little boost, let's see if I can calculate these little pigs. If that's 35, that's at 15. Looks like it's uh, over 20. About 20 pounds of boost? Yeah. So the turbo is working. That is. That okay. is. Yeah. That exhaust brake is just kind of relaxing now it's, all the way up. The, the exhaust brake is relaxed. <laughs> It's not doing anything. So what these companies are now doing, right, is they're, they're able to control the turbocharger uh, for progressive exhaust brake on the right, way down. Right. But of course, it's open all the way to make maximum power now. Exactly. And that's, you know, all these things that they're doing with oil pumps and everything, they're making them more and more efficient. They're trying to get better fuel mileage. And this one doesn't have that dramatic chin spoiler like the Ford does. Right. Where it almost touches the ground. But, you know, this is a good looking truck. I love this red with the black accents on everything. They're awesome looking wheels. And we're pulling a black trader. We got just the perfect picture for colors. Yes. And 30,000 pounds, and we're going to be getting up to over 11,000 feet here shortly. But it's doing well. It's doing very, very good. And, you know, this has got the best reach of the mirrors. Or just, of course, it's got biggest fenders yes. of the three. But that little extra Come reach on. is nice. Come on, speed. Come on. Get past the fenders. It's leveled out just a hair. We're 43 miles an hour, okay. we're kicking. Okay. All the temperatures are still within limits. Yeah, and like I said on the way down, this is old school, man. It's got inline six, six speed. Yeah. It's got all those things that we've used to for a long period of time. And it's, uh, it's. I don't know if a 10 speed would give it one more gear to go a little faster, it might. Well, but, right uh, now, so, I mean, Downhill performance was perfect, right? Yeah. We, you didn't touch a brake once on the way down. Not at all. Not at all. So, uh, so the the six-speed um, ASIN transmission is working uh, on the way up. I mean, it's always been a good truck, right? Yeah. Um, but I, it's, but the GM and Ford now have ten speeds. I know. Can I, can I see what gear it is? Oh sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Down. It's third. The third. Okay. See how far up it goes. Third gear. We came down mostly with, of course, it was 35 miles an hour. It came down in like seconds. Second, second, second gear, gear, yeah. Most time. And I really like to be able to watch my gears. Since I can't shift them unless I go manually, I like to see what gear it's in and match it to the to the uh, the RPM. And geez, we're just over 2200 RPM now. Okay. The inline six don't get the big RPMs that the V8s do. And, no. You know, they got all that good grunt torque at the bottom. And that's, that's kind of like a semi truck, right? That's, yeah. That's what they do. You know, we got 54 miles till empty now. 
That's okay. We went from 90 we're, to 54. We're, you're thinking light miles. thoughts. We're okay. burning fuel. Okay. Well, the, the temperature, the weight is decreasing, so we can run up the mountain very easily. Do you have that gauge set for fuel mileage? Is it still in there somewhere? Yeah, let's let's go back there so we can track it, right? Yeah. Uh, speed, 39 miles an hour. Uh, no, I went the wrong way. Uh, there we are. There we go. So the other two trucks, the other two diesels for 2020, on the trip meter showed 2.4. Yes. 2.4. Again, that both of them did that. Both of them the same. Okay. Yes. So so we're fighting against that. Now, the, like I said, Ford F350 did a run in 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. We're approaching that now, and I can kind of see the finish line, the tunnels. Very kind of foggy here. Um, and then the GM truck did it. Let me just double check. The uh, GMC truck did the same run with the same trailer in 11 minutes and 47 seconds. So if we're within those times, then we're still doing good. Let me measure the sound level because I did bring my uh, sound measuring device. Yeah, we're just a little over 2200 just, RPM. Okay, let's, let's check it. I just lost battery. <laughs> oh no, I think it was on in my bag. Oh no, no. Sorry guys, but this truck is still very quiet. Well, I think it is quiet. I mean, lower RPM, these, these diesels have that good grunts that run lower RPMs. Yeah, it's all amazing. the trucks across the board yeah, you look are at the getting semis, very quiet. They think the 1900 is like big. Yes. <laughs> but you know, this is, uh, I, yes, uh -oh. they dramatically made this we, quieter. The Ford is a little bit quicker already. So we just passed the 10 minute, 20 second mark. Okay. So are you pushing, are you still pushing? Well, is, we should do that. Let's is, rock the truck. <laughs> is your leg cramped yet? Yeah, yeah. my yep. toes are, I'm pushing my toes. I Come guess on. I need to get some long, my this big is, cowboy boot heels on. This is over 11,000 feet above sea level. If your truck can tow well here, it will tow anything anywhere. Right, we're at 34, 35 miles an hour. Okay, we can change lanes? I know it, we can. We're getting close to it. Like that first time, I actually had to stay in that lane the whole run. You know that? I never was able to move over. Oh, well, remember that crazy trucker that was well, cutting yeah, you off? Yeah, but I'm just saying that this has never made it fast enough to move over a lane. I see. Okay, so the man, second lights, I'm going to... Uh, and you tell me the fuel efficiency, okay? Okay. okay. All right, I'm going to hit the timer. And the timer stops. Now. You got it? 25. 2.5? Yep, 2.5 miles to the gallon. 11 minutes and 32 seconds. 11.32. Well, that was a big boy Cummins Ram. And now, of course, let's watch as the boys take the GMC and, of course, the big F-350 dually okay. up to the We're going up the mountain guys, now we're in the Ford. And we're starting, as always, at 35 miles an hour, right? Yeah, I'm getting it dialed right, in right so now. On my mark, and reset, go. Nice. The timer is going, you're full throttle? Yeah, so now I can go to 60 miles an hour? You can, if we can maintain it. Well, we will part of the way, I think. Okay, there's a trucker pulled off. Right. On, even though it's kind of cool outside. Well, this is interesting. Now cars are going to be going slower. Yeah, that's the triggers. I'm wide open throttle now. Let's see oh. how we're traffic. We're doing okay. It's just it's not that slick. It's just wet. Yeah, and we're also not going. No, over the speed limit, so we're no, safe. We're, right? we're running about 56 miles an hour. We're trying to make a good run here. I'm going to stay in this lane so I can like, see the traffic around this curve. Okay, yeah, 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 absolutely. This is good. So, this new third generation 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. It's right. now the most powerful engine in the class. Yeah, it is. That 1,050 torque, they had a bunch up above RAM, and that's yeah. what they did. Yeah. And 475 horsepower, this is a monster. 
Yeah, and it's proving to be kind of a mouthful right now. Yeah, and it's at 10 speeds. So, you know, that's kind of like the three behind a semi. A lot of them are 18 speeds, 12 speeds, whatever. The more gears you have, the more acceleration you have, the better pulling uphill yeah. because it can jump to the next gear. Where if the gear is too far away, you have to go through too many RPMs, it takes a long time. But this actually helps you having more gears. It may not help you coming downhill, we're still trying to prove that yeah. right now, but it does help going uphill. So, this is a 355 rear end. Yes. If you wanted more towing capability, you can still get it in a Ford. Right, that's amazing to be a 355 with, a, you know, of course the 10 speed's part of that equation, yeah. but I'm so used to 373s and 410s in these Fords. Uh, you can still get an F450 consumer truck, dually, with a, th a 430, actually. Right, that's the pickup um, truck version, the regular dually with yeah. fenders and everything, yeah. Yeah, but but of course, we're not comparing those trucks, we're comparing more consumer-oriented trucks. Yeah. And the towing rating on this particular one is 31,300 pounds, and because we have uh, the capacity of about 5,300 pounds payload, we're maxed out on payload. Right, that's the problem. They need to give us more payload in these trucks so we can get to those maximum trailer numbers. That's why, that's the whole marketing thing. Everybody wants that big trailer towing package, but you can't get enough payload to get there unless you do have a stripped down, two wheel drive, regular cab. And, yeah. and that's to me, that's, that's not quite the way it should be, but. Absolutely. But this is doing well. We're, we're still maintaining about 40, seven miles an hour rpms is below 25 and i'm in the sixth gear <laughs> that's so amazing that is that used to be overdrive well now it's now it's not, not. <laughs> seventh is basically one to one yeah and then you've got overdrives over that yeah it's got three overdrives which is pretty amazing yeah so that's a big jump from a six speed to a ten speed and i think it's going to prove itself going uphill can I click over to the transmission temp just really quick? Yeah, if you want to push all the buttons, I'm concentrating on where the ice is here. So we're at 25 degrees. It's dropping a little. What's 28 degrees Fahrenheit? Well, check it out. Transmission is middle, middle yeah. of the road. So transmission is staying cool. Our coolant is about 219. The turbo is working really hard. Yeah, it's a little over 20 pounds right now. It goes all the way up to 40, the gauge does, but. You know, yeah, it is, and that's what it should be. The turbo should be doing the work now, keeping the RPMs up and the boost up. Which, getting the which, air. Yeah, which takes RPMs. Even to make everything work right, you know, grade shifting, the uh, the 10-speed. Oh, look, there's something laying in that brake, lane. Yeah, that's exhaust brake and turbos. You need higher RPMs. You see that somebody's ramp was yeah, falling down. Yeah, maybe that's we should, we should pull over and got that in case we needed to jump the trailer up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We need all the blocks we can sometimes to change trailers. But we carry a lot of blocks this time. You got your gloves, right? Because I don't want to get out in the snow and change trailers. That'll be your job. Yeah, I got my gloves. <laughs> and I got my Russian hat, too. Yeah, we're holding at 45 miles an hour. Well, this is not too bad. No, it's not. I mean, you can't expect 30,000 pounds to be going up here 60 all the way. Maintaining pretty comfortable speed. I mean, we're hauling heavy. Yeah. This is the heaviest hike basically we've ever done. And we don't have any semis to pass. What's that? You should be semis that's, all that's over nice the place. That's nice and easy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good day for a run, <laughs> even in a snowstorm. But that's Colorado. You cannot expect to always have good weather. Even though we try to schedule around it. So far. Yeah. It's weird the noises. I'm trying to listen to the noises to see if it's downshift, and most of the time the noise is the fan, which surprised me because it's freaking cold outside. Engine oil tam is 237, 235. So that's staying nice and cool. Transmission tam is 226. That's staying relatively cool. We don't want to see numbers over 230 on the transmission tam. Or maybe over 250, for that yeah, matter. Yeah. Um, and then everything is in order. Things are still in forecast through Sunday. Heavy snow. <laughs> so they're saying today is Thursday. Yeah. And they're saying through the end of Sunday it's going to be snowing. Yeah. So, so we have to complete it today. That's true. And we get it do our done. Best, do our best to get this done.
Are you accelerating just a smidge? Just a smidge. Went up to 25 and a half RPM in fifth gear. We lost a gear. And of course, we're going to be measuring time. For 2020, uh, we're using new benchmarks for this mountain climb. Okay. We're using a 10 minute benchmark because heavy duty trucks are hauling heavy. Well, that's true. That's true. You can't expect and, them to do it in eight minutes. And also, we're using four MPG as our benchmark, like perfect run. Okay. Um, of course, right now we're two and a half, and we'll see how these trucks compare forward to the GMC. Right. 10 speed and 10 speed. And it's amazing, you know, I've driven the GMC quite a bit now, and it seems to accelerate well with the old horsepower and the old torque. And so I will see how that does coming up this hill, because that'd be a good test for that. This is such a good contest, you know, 10 oh, yeah. speed versus 10 speed, like right. you said. Yeah. And they're doing all these things to make these engines run cooler. Like the Chevy has the big fan now, yeah. the GMC and the Chevy. The Ford they did, was it another radiator they added? They did something to the front. Besides the bigger grill, the more opening, they uh -huh. did something with, with cooling capacity to that. So that they understand that these big loads, you've got to have more cooling. Absolutely. And GM did the big fan, right. that 20, that big fan, 28 yeah. inch or something. Right. That gi big, big gigantic fan for the radiator. Well, we're almost there, dude. We're, we're climbing still. Yeah, we, uh, we're staying over 2,000 RPM, which is what it has to be to actually hold the torque curve. We dropped too far. I mean, you still you power. still haven't let go of the accelerator. No, I'm wide open throttle. Yeah. This is a really great test. Are we going to do the, the sound meter? Do we have that? We, we don't have that today. I'm sorry. We didn't have the right one, and then and then it's too many variables. It's, yeah, it's, that's, that's another thing they're trying really hard on these new trucks to make them quieter. Yeah, and it's actually relatively quiet. Yeah. I can hear the cooling fan come on. Right. Come on and off, like you said. Okay. Now, if you want me to, I'll move over a little bit, not much. There's the fan again. Yep, that's amazing. Yeah. There's somebody else pulled over. I think they might be in trouble. Okay, let me try to do a lane change. Okay, we have room, we have room, that's great. Plus we can stay in this lane now because the, the road is narrowing. Yeah. Well, I was gonna wear my winter hat. You get your winter hat on. Well, you have a chance. Yeah, you you have a chance to do it. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> We're so close, within half a mile of the end. We've been above 40 miles an hour pretty much the entire time. Right, we're getting up to about 42, 43 now, and the RPMs are almost 25. I thought this was steeper right up here because it acts like it's, it's lovely now. It's very steep still, 7% grade, 8 miles, 11,154 feet above sea level. And look at this, we're approaching 10 minute mark. So I need to move over now. Yeah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta move over. We're close to the 10 minute mark. And the second uh, light, the green light, that's when we measure the fuel economy okay. and the time. We're close to 10 minutes right now. Right. We're doing really good. And the road condition has improved. It's a little bit wet, no ice. It's just, just right before this snowstorm. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm gonna stop the clock now. And what's the fuel economy? 2.4. 2.4, 10 minutes and 20 seconds. As I'm, and I'm going to start restart the clock when we cross the little traffic light. Just about the 35. Get ready, get set, and now. Let go. I pushed Let it. go. Okay. Nice, we all reset and we're going up the mountain. Yeah, I pushed it and let go the first time, nothing happened. They got weird controls on the steering wheel on these GMs. Well, they're little wheels, right? Yes. And, and different trucks have different controls yeah. for all the features. So instead of having buttons you push, you have the, the button you roll and then you push it. It's, yeah. Are you all the way down? I am. Can you pass this guy or is... Uh, I'm, I'm getting really excited. You have been excited all day. 
Well, I bet your blood pressure is pretty high. I, I have no idea what my blood pressure is, but I think it's <laughs> higher than the mountain. Yeah, we're really in a, in a stressful situation here pulling. The biggest trailer we've ever pulled, 40 feet, 30,000 pounds, and that semi is right into my lane. Oh, and we're going in kind of bad weather as yes, well. Yes, we're all trying to figure out which lane we're going to be in now. But yeah, he's eight and a half feet wide, we're eight and a half feet wide, so move over. We got it. We're, we're, we're passing him. Whoop, yeah. whoop, whoop. We're doing so, good. We're doing <coughs> over 50 miles an hour, 52 miles an hour. All right, but I want to see 60. Come on, push it down. <laughs> Come on. I'm creasing the carpet and the floor. So, guys, uh, GM. Um, <clears throat> GM completely redesigned the truck, right, for 2020. Yes, everything. But they, but um, they kept the diesel, right? They yes, kept the engine. They kept the same horsepower and torque, which yes. is a surprise. Then now we jump from 23,000 pounds clear up to 35.5, and all the dualies will go over 30,000, which is really cool. When they, I guess, decided to go big, they went all the way big. Yes. And uh, so still, like you said, 910 pound-feet of torque, yeah. 445 horsepower. But now this Allison branded transmission that they co-developed, they yep. said, together, yep. right? Yes, well, yeah, it's it's a confusing issue with, with, with who's making what with them, but yeah, I think they make their own parts and everything now GM does. So it's an Allison design, but yeah, it's, an, it's a 10 speed, so we expect a lot from this, and this is where it shines. Coming down the hill, I think it needs higher RPM, and it could be calibration going up the hill because it can go to a different gear and one more gear, one more gear, just like a semi. So they have so many gears, so you can just keep accelerating up the hill. I think that's where these 10 speeds shine. So what's the speed now? We are at 45 miles an hour. Okay, so we're still uh, chugging uh, and we're passing semis, so oh, we're wait, doing good. What gear are we in? I have no idea you what no gear idea. are we in. <laughs> well, it, it's not going to tell us unless we go into manual yeah, we have mode. to shift it manually, yeah. yeah. Man, these semis are crowding the line. Well, they're also kind of scared. But they just have a rail, and they still got a white line plus a rail. I don't know, I don't like this, being crowded out of my lane. <laughs> So wow, look at the rearview mirror. Holy cow, you can see everything out of that. That is so cool. I love that new camera rearview mirror. It kind of yeah, things wobble you used to. But look at that. Look at the visibility you've got. It's so sharp. Let me show that. If we get next to a vehicle, it really stands out. You can uh, see is there this. anybody going to pass us? No, nah, nah, probably not now. But it is cool. Well, we can pass this ram up here. We'll be getting past that pretty soon. But it is, it is. yeah, there's the normal one. There's a real one. Matt and I just did that because it was such a cool thing. It does take a little while to get used to, but I like it because it, it, it's more panoramic. gives you more view. All right, here we go. we got vehicles on each side of us. And you can't see that with the other one. Flip it back so you don't see those things. That is so cool. I like that. Yeah, they're big in the cameras now, GM. They, they, found, <coughs> that, they found their cameras. Ah. All right. <coughs> And you know, both of these trucks, the Ford and the GMC, are actually very quiet on the inside. They are. You know, it's they a comfortable are. environment. Right. These things are dramatically improving. And, you know, they went to that pile of ejection clear back when this was born in 2001, and that made a big difference. You know, they take some of that, that uh, explosion out of the diesel, because, you know, they don't ignite with a spark plug. They blow up. And that makes a noise to begin with. So they've done a really good job with their technology on making them quieter. And then they all do different materials to make them quieter, different shells and different insulations. And this is the top of the line. So this probably has the best insulation package there is. And the cap and then the yeah, floor and the floorboards. And it's basically the most expensive GMC you can get. That's um, right. And it, this is listing at just over uh, $80,000. Yeah. And, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, let me check that. And this is that sexy beast, so it's got that giant grill because it's a heavy duty. Just like the Ford now with their diesels and their high out, their highest rating trucks, they have a giant grill with more openings. So these are the big grill trucks. And this truck is fully loaded with every option, including the sunroof and yeah. all the features, the ultimate package on the Denali, just over 81,000 bucks right. on this GMC. And the Ford, is a King Ranch, but it's not the Platinum. I right, mean, you could, it's you got could, a couple more to go. Or, or the Limited. They also have the yeah. Limited. Yeah, it's, it's that's so, right. yeah, it used to be the top of the line to change it. Now, do you remember on that? They had that panoramic moon roof. Yes, that yeah, it does. One. Yeah, it does. And also, the Ford is a little bit more expensive. It's 82000 Really? So they're very competitively priced. Yeah. Well, I think these Denali's, you can put a few more toys on them because they have, I'm sure, some more options that we don't have. I don't know what else you could put. Maybe a pole in the back well, or something? <laughs> uh, 
I can think of something. I guess we have adaptive cruise control. That's an expensive option. It has all that. That's the power. Are we slowing power down? Scope. I think so. We're down to 38. Oh, Wide no. open throttle, about 2,400 RPMs. Are you gonna hit the gate going 38? <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Oh, I it hope. downshifted. Yeah, and it's really smooth. That 10 speed because those gears are so close. Shifting is it's it's unbelievable. How smooth it is. Look, so they patched our slow lane. Now we got a nice. patch, patch lower. Actually, the trailer is riding a little bit better today. It is, and you know, you tied the ramps down. That might have been part of the bucking. Those ramps were bouncing around back to the ramp. A little ramps. bit, but not much. Yeah, you tied them down, yeah. and it, it is. But this is the sweet spot. We're doing 36, between 36 and 45. That trailer settles down really well. So you're going, I'm not sure what they want. But they're going 70 miles an hour, you feel more bump. Let's figure out what that is. But yeah, yeah it's a big trailer. It's got 16 ply tires. I could have something new. They're very thick tires. Yeah, because the, the, the ride is a little bit rougher. But yeah, we're I holding heavy weights. Right. So I think that's something to do with it. I think we got a traffic jam behind us, what people are honking about. But we're going as fast as possible. I know, possible. we're wide open throttle and we're in a slow lane, so what else do they want? When we go a little bit straighter, uh, can we check the temperatures on all the uh, parameters? Sure. I could, I could help you if you're steering straight. So let's take a look. So tire pressures are good. They're close to 80. Transmission 185. Yeah, that's cold. Wow, <laughs> that's not even no, that's cold. too hot. And the truck is working really, uh, really heavily. We still have our def I fluid. I love having a def gauge. If you gotta look for it, it's lo lovely to have. <clears throat> come on, come on. Is she still? <laughs> is your leg numb yet? Oh. Yeah, it is. I need high heels. It's like we're lever against the heel. Come on. Let's push it. Push it up. Hey, we should be singing Christmas carols. Look at this, man. It's snowing again. City sidewalks. City sidewalks. You know any Russian so, Christmas carols? No, I don't. Okay. Um, as always, this is an eight-mile stretch, and for 2020, for heavy-duty trucks, we're using different benchmarks. Yes. Ten-minute benchmark for time, going eight miles, because we're towing so heavy. Yeah. And also four mpg benchmark, and we'll tell you, of course, the amp fuel economy and uh, the time, of course, that the truck does on the way up. You know, we need to make a deal with these manufacturers that they can give us trucks in the spring or the summer or the fall. Why do they give us trucks in the blizzard? I don't understand because this. I'm forcing them. <laughs> we always freeze every year with you like gauntlet out there moving trailers, loading trailers. It's quite an event, but you know, we do it for the right reasons. We want to test these trucks and see how they perform against each other. That's it's how, great competition. That's when they come out, yeah. yeah. It's great competition. I don't think anybody works trucks harder than we do. We work the heck out of them. Yeah, my foot's stuck on the floor. About 2,400 RPM. Well, the truck is trying. 40 miles an hour, and it's, it's up to you to decide what gear we're in. Nobody knows. So GM is doing this thing. They they're calling it uh, the gear range. So you could uh, go down one more notch past D, uh -huh. and then you can lock out the top gears. So you can right. say, I want my highest gear to be five or six or three. Yeah. And then it still won't tell you which gear you're in. It's the maximum gear. You know, that's what... That's what that, that, that sounds old school. I know a lot of trucks have had that for a while. So, I'm not sure why they they're don't want to show their, which gear the truck is in, but, you well, know, they're, they're telling us it's too much information. Well, yeah, they, they have a hang-up on that stuff. Like, they don't show us turbo pressure either, where the other guys do. And I like uh -huh. to know that. It tells me how the engine's performing. And if I'm over boosting or if I'm normal, also, right. you know, it's just, it's a good thing to know. I like to know all the information I can. It's like semis. They got gauges wall to wall in the semi trucks. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. People want to know everything so they can catch a problem before it happens. And GM didn't think anybody needed one. And so that's where we are. But, you know. So you know what GM could do? They could introduce like a pro towing package. Yes, there you and go. And give it to us. Yes, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. They should have that, a pro towing package yeah. that has every gauge you could ever imagine and yeah. all the information you never want to know. And that's that's a good idea because look at the hot shotters, like where we're pulling a hot shot trailer, 40 foot. Yeah. We want to know everything because we're going to be going, you know, 700 miles before we shut down. 
in several states. We want yeah. to know all that stuff. No, that's a good idea. You tell them last time you see I, them. I will tell them. I will tell them. I would send them an email. Okay. And make sure they re they reply that they read it. <laughs> I'll send it to Mary Barra, the CEO. Mary Barra, yeah. yes. That's who I would talk to. <laughs> All right, do we have room to change lanes? Because we're well, we're getting we're getting help from our film crew. All right, so wow, we're slowing. We're, Man, I might as well just throw water at this windshield because it's just plugging up fast. All right, let's switch really quick. Okay. To the the there we go. There we go. Holy cow, that other one looked pretty big. We're we're, we're the same. <laughs> the MPG is the same. No, no, hold on. All right. Uh, we're just at the over 11 minutes. We're coming up to the lights at the top of the mountain at the Eisenhower Pass. Whoa, what is he doing? I don't know, but we're 37 miles, we're 37 miles an hour. Did you see that? Yeah, he just, he's a suicide trucker. Man. His suicide truck, he yeah. cut us off. He did, and I didn't let off the foot feet. I was gonna see if he could make it. <laughs> you have nerves of steel, Mr. Truck. <laughs> well, I'm trying to make a good test. Okay, we're gonna stop the timer at the traffic light now. What's the MPG? 2.4. 11.47. Slower so, than the four. Yeah, quite a bit slower. Wow. Holy moly. We post these raw and unedited videos because you guys want to know exactly what happened when we run the trucks up the mountain. Let us know if you like these videos and how we could make them better in the comments below. As always, this is Roman saying thanks for watching and check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, world's toughest towing test reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.